Hi folks, welcome. We're gonna take a quick look at the Adobe Spark video option. Um, hopefully you've taken a look at the post and the page options to create pictures and websites, but now we're gonna take a look at the video side, which is again, a pretty simple uh, little video editor. It doesn't get real high, uh, high tech, but it really does make putting clips together and adding text and uh, graphics and some things uh, pretty easy. So we're gonna take a look at how to do that. And again, we're logged in and our free account, we're gonna hit the plus button up at the top and then we're gonna choose video. This is gonna bring up the video editor, just give us a plain one. Uh, and there are a couple ways to start. So the first place that it's gonna bring you is a title page. So give, give your title something. So we're just gonna call this one uh, we'll just call it practice video because it's always going to take us to the same place we can always change this next uh, and the best thing to do is click next and now they give you some templates and these are not necessarily graphic templates they're not pre-filled videos uh, or anything like that they don't have specific transitions or anything in them what they have is basically some instructions so i'll show you uh kind of quickly like maybe you might have your students do this or you might do this to show and tell um, the editor is going to be the same as other editors. Um, it's just going to have down where we can put our videos. It's going to have some instructions. And this is just really to make things a little more organized for the planning. So it doesn't really matter which of those templates you choose. And in fact, the last one was start from scratch. It just would have boxes down here that are empty. So here it does give you some, uh, some, some guidance, introduce yourself, make it personal. Um, you know, what is it that you're showing and telling? Why are we doing it? And then here's your telling. And it kind of gives you some information, some stuff to, to focus on in that particular box. So again, you can totally ignore that if you want to, uh, but it's there. All right, so what we'll do um, to start, and it's really, really important if you're gonna include videos in here that you have your videos organized in an, in an easy to access way. Um, so I've already gone through and downloaded a few videos that I can throw in here. So um, over here on the right-hand side, we're gonna take a quick look at these templates. So as we're uploading videos, to our screen here, we can decide where exactly the, those videos show. So we're gonna start full screen, which is the default. Uh, and if you click on the plus here, it's going to give you some options to add either text or an icon. So let's say I'm gonna, I'll just put live music here as my, as my text. Uh, but this is just the text in the front. What we wanna do is click up in the upper left-hand corner to put a video or a photo behind it. And a photo will do sort of that Ken Burns zoom thing. But a video is just gonna run the video. So it does take you to a place to upload. Um, so I'll just upload this video really quickly. And um, it's gonna allow us to now edit. So it gives us sort of a slider here where we can decide how much time we want to include up to 30 seconds. All right, so if I take this little chunk of time right here and I just go, uh, you do have the option to go longer than 30 seconds. It'll put it on the next slide and we'll take a look at that in just a second. But um, let's say I wanna put you know, these three or four seconds on the video. So I can just slide it, it's four of 52 and I can determine where those four seconds are supposed to go. So we can put it like right there and let's hit save. It does take a second obviously to um, process and save the video clip. Um, the longer the video or the larger the video, the longer this takes, uh, but it is still pretty quick. It's gonna take just those four seconds and throw it right on that slide. So once that finishes loading, uh, now we've got our video here and it gives us some editing options. And the first is to zoom in or zoom out. Obviously the further you zoom in, the closer it gets. Um, you can click on again that edit button and you can trim this again, trim the video to be a different length. Uh, here's the button that will allow you to continue the clip onto a different place. And I guess I didn't realize I put that in the fourth one. I'm just going to put that right there. Um, this That will allow you to continue the clip on the next slide. Okay, and that's up here in these pencil editing here. And then this allows you to control the sound. Uh, you can have it loud, which would be the normal volume, soft, which would allow you to speak over the top, or muted, um, which obviously would make it silent. So again, you can choose to replace it or um, change the video or delete it there. And if we hit play, you'll be able to see, here's the music playing, there's my live music. All right, so those are my three seconds. And you saw right at the end, the, the words kind of fell down. Um, those are going to be some graphics that they that they import, and they, you do have the option to move your um, words around a little bit. It will allow you to put them in some different places, not a ton of places, not pretty much anywhere you want, but you do have the option to move it around. So again, you can put it in the upper corner, bottom corner, um, you can kind of move it to wherever you want. 
So um, that's where we're going to stop for here. We're going to take a look at the themes and resizing uh, and doing some other options in a later video. So uh, check out those videos.